Hello everybody, welcome back to This Is How We Rock. We're talking about bathroom organization today. We are in full on homeschooling mode. We actually started a couple of weeks ago. And now with the mornings being so busy with five little kids to try and get ready, and myself to try and get ready before them, I realized that I gotta go through a couple of areas in my house that are the most trafficated ones and the ones that I get uh, cluttered very easily. So I wanna simplify those things in order for me to simplify our routines and uh, just go on with our day as fast and as smooth as we can. I'm gonna be sharing with you a couple of tips that I implemented into my organization uh, around the house and we're talking today specifically about the bathroom. So since we started this journey to minimalism and to all natural living, things have gone so much better for this mama right here and for our family in general because at the end of the day, I feel no guilt at all about uh, putting makeup every day on my face or taking care of our bodies, all the stuff that we put on us. I know that everything is natural as much as possible. So what I try to create every time I organize an area or room is trying to create a flow so that everybody knows where things can be found. Uh, when I tell the kids to brush your teeth or take a bath, they know where the stuff is, they know where the bath towels are. And that makes it so much easier for me. It helps them to grow a little bit more independent. And at the end of the day, so I have very little to take care of. When I talk about minimize, there are always three criteria that I go through. And the number one is that I try to pick products that are as much natural as possible and even with organic ingredients whenever it's affordable. The number two is that I try to get products that serve more than one purpose, like for example, baking soda or oils that I can use as makeup removers, as moisturizers. And uh, number three is baby products. They make us believe that we need baby products, uh, toddler products, uh, grown up kids products, and adults products. When the truth is that once you pick all natural products, that's all you need for your own family. So I'm gonna be showing you what I keep for my five kids and for the rest of us, me and my husband. All right, so this is what I use as step number one to wash my face with. And it's a zero waste all natural soap from Whole Foods that I buy in bulk. And this is made with charcoal, tea tree oil, rosemary. And what I use to wash my face with is this For Real Luna 2. And this is a great, great item. It's an electronic uh, silicone um, makeup remover, you know, dead cells remover, and it leaves your skin so nice and smooth. So this is a very simple uh, morning routine, even for the evening. And if I do wear makeup um, and I have to remove it, I simply use sweet almond oil with a cotton pad or even with a corner of a towel. And this is how I remove my mascara and makeup traces. So you gotta put it right here. And then the second step after I wash and clean my face is using my toner. And this is what I use. This one in particular is from Whole Foods. You can find it anywhere. It's a rose petal facial toner. It's really good to uh, rebalance my pH after I washed my face and it goes right here. Actually, I'm gonna be moving these shelves so the bottles can actually stand up. And this is it. Then we're going to the moisturizer. And what I use for there are, again, oils. And for the morning, I alternate between the turmeric oil and the evening, I use something a little bit richer, uh, which is the rose hip oil right here. And what I use to roll my oils into my skin with is this uh, quartz roller, which broke during a road trip, but it still works, so it's fine. And this is it, very minimal or natural, so I don't feel guilty, I actually feel pampered after I went through these steps. And then one extra item that I use twice a week, and this is all organic, all natural, 100% bentonite clay mask. There you go. That I just mix with a little bit of water and a couple of drops of apple cider vinegar, and I make myself a nice mask with. And this is it, this is what I'm gonna be taking care of my skin in the morning in the evening. Now let's jump into my makeup because right after I take care of my skin and I'm ready for the day, first thing you guys, I apply my sunscreen. I like this one as I told you before if you watched the video because it's a non-nano uh, ingredient which won't change the DNA of your skin. It won't cause any breakout. It's all natural right here. It's from the Damascus Rose. By the way, I'm gonna be putting the links into the Amazon store for everything that I mentioned here. And then we jump into the foundation and I use this one from Barts and Bees. I barely see anymore. I like it because once again, it's all natural and so I don't feel guilty. My skin doesn't break out every time I apply it. And I like to wear makeup now more often than I used to. So there you go. 
what I use though to fix this natural foundation with is this natural powder right here a setting powder uh, which comes from Whole Foods the brand is Mineral Fusion and if I want to go without makeup this is all I need to apply to my skin a little bit of this and I look just fine foundation setting powder then bronzer and I got this one as a sample from Sephora and I actually liked it a lot and I'm planning on getting the full size product once I run out of this one but so far I had it for almost a year and it's still tons of product in it because you need very little and this one also doubles as eyeshadow for me if I need a little bit of you know daytime eyeshadow I use my bronzer next thing is my eyebrows filler I got this one from Sephora and it's the only item that I actually buy from there uh, because I can't find anything that beats this eyebrow uh, pencil it's from Anastasia and there you go then my makeup brush is right here just two one for the powder and one for the eyeshadow this is my concealer from pacifica which is an affordable brand all natural and you can find this one at target and all foods too and then my lip balm this one is from bart's bees once again so it's all natural i like this one during the daytime because it's very subtle and if i want to get a little bit fancy for the evening i use this one from well people and i got this one from whole foods and it's kind of a lip gloss oh a pen <laughs> This is another sample that I got from Sephora and it's the eyeliner that I use only in special occasion. My mascara from Barts and Bees again. And this is actually my perfume, uh, which is a vanilla essential oil with a carrier oil in it. So I just apply it to my neck, you know, on my wrist. And uh, this is my own natural perfume. And my own natural deodorant with no aluminum in it, which is something that I always make sure there is it's not in any of our body care products, Tom's. Okay, the sponge for my foundation. And this is the only thing that actually is not all natural. And I really don't care much about it because I had this one since last Christmas and as you can see, it's kind of brand new. For the use I make of it, I'm not gonna invest my money into getting a, a better eyeshadow just for the time being. And my tweezers, this is it. Now let's go through our bath products and the only thing that I use for me and for the kids for a bubble bath is for the whole family. It's just all natural pure Castile soap. It comes in different um, flavors, smells. Um, so yeah, you can choose yours, the one you like and it's all natural. So I keep just one product for a body wash. And this is also what I use to wash my baby's hair with, my kids' scalps with. This is just only two more products right here. It's also Epsom salt, which I ran out of, but I can go to All Foods and just refill it. So zero waste right there. And we like it a lot, especially if your kids or you have a little bit of a cold or fever. Epsom salt are a good way, good all natural way to just detox your body from toxins and from fever and everything. Uh, okay, these are the two steps. And then as far as moisturizing our body, I use coconut oil. And this is what the product is. Coconut oil with lavender, organic. Uh, you can also make your own one. I was on the road, so I had to buy uh, a bottle, but um, coconut oil is great for babies too, and for all ages, kids and adults likewise. And now into the hair care product for myself and for the kids and the whole family. This is all that I use. I use organic castor oil. You can buy this big bottle, even a Walmart for just $10, but if you know castor oil is such a thick oil, Oil, that it goes a long way a bottle will last you probably a few years so what I do is that I put a little bit of castor oil in a bottle with distilled water and this is all that I use as a detangler for my kids hair because you know that everybody in a family has long hair <laughs> and this is the hairbrush that I use I got this one from Marshall for only three dollars and it's boar hair and this is great for a dry scalp massage and especially for the baby this is so nice and and soothing after a bath and this is the little tray where we keep all our clips and hair ties I'm missing the ones from the kids right now uh, but this is all I keep and everything that I keep in it also castor oil is what I use on my eyelashes eyebrows and on my hair to make it grow thicker so again this is a multi-purpose uh, product and last area I created is our dental hygiene area right here fluoride free toothpaste and I use the same brand for the kids this is our tongue scraper 
baking soda once again on natural and serving more than one purpose because I clean the bathroom I clean around the house with baking soda too and I put it when we make our own toothpaste a little bit of baking soda just to use as a widening and uh, what I use every day is a widening dough uh, for me and the kids is this activated charcoal right here and you can find it everywhere you can find it at Whole Foods at Walmart at Target this is the one that we're using right now this is where the flosser goes because of the plaque right there. So here's what the sink is looking like so far. So this is where I place the uh, bath products, the Epsom salts and the body wash right here, right by the tub. So everybody knows where they are. And I don't have any drawers in this bathroom, but it's not a problem because when you have little to take care of, there you go, little trays work just fine. This is where I have the hair care product, the, where I store the extra toilet paper my makeup baking soda and our body lotion for right after the shower so this is it let me see if i can give you like another look of what everything looks like and this is all we have for me and for the rest of the family once again because the products are all natural so they're great for the whole family so thank you so much for watching you guys i do hope you have enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up and i catch you into the next one bye bye